Hello, Tim Sprankle here. This is my In Case You Care book review of the book Cues by Vanessa Van Edwards. I came across her book at the Carrie Newhoff, no, no, Craig Groeschel, sorry. All these leadership podcasts, they get jumbled in my head. The, the Craig Groeschel Leadership Podcast. He did an interview with her. She has spoken at the Global Leadership Summit two times. Her interview was fascinating. She talked a lot about using charismatic cues and gestures. She also talked about using competency signals like wearing glasses, uh, buttoning up your shirt. Men tend to come across as more competent than women. We're given the benefit of the doubt. Women tend to come across as more warm than men. So what I'm trying to do is illustrate the fact that this book really helped me think about three things. I'm practicing these three things. One, smile a little bit more. People don't tend to think that I and warm as I'm communicating. They, they think that I might be stern or intellectual or cold or removed, so smile and bring some warmth. Two, use gestures well. People tend to retain things. They retain things when you use gestures. This is from the book Cues. And three, pay attention to the word choices you use and how you present these words. That could be across a screen when you're talking. It could be on your website. It could be the word selection that you use, especially in questions that you ask people. How you doing is a bad question. Tell me something good about your weekend is a great prompt. So use those verbal cues more deliberately. Now I could tell you a whole lot more about the book cues. But I would say go ahead and get yourself a copy of the book because it's a phenomenal read. It's a phenomenal read. There's so much insight in here, lots of graphics, and then assessment tools at the end of each chapter. There's going to be more than you're capable of applying right away. But what I can tell you is if you pick what she says at the end, three things, and really work through those three things and do them three times so they feel more normal and natural and not fake, you will find that not only are you encoding cues well, you're starting to pay attention to others and you're decoding their cues as well. On a personal note, and let me take off the glasses and, and be a little less uh, put on right now, although I did enjoy that. One of the things that was most helpful about this book was that your body language communicates a ton and just the way that you turn toward people or turn away from people. I have a son with special needs and he has a hard time talking and usually when he does talk a lot of what he says is very predictable it's about the latest dvd or a nintendo wii game that he's obsessed with and so he'll come up and ask me about watching it on saturday or whatever day and i find that i have been turning away from my son when he's talking to me because I'm, I'm ready to move back to my next thing and more than anything else this book has told me as a father but this is true as a husband, as a pastor, as a friend. If I'm not turning toward people in conversation, I am giving this horrible message. It's non-charismatic, it's negative, that I don't wanna be with you. And so in the very least, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> we need to learn to tor turn toward people that we love as we listen to them and as we speak to them. So turn towards someone this week. If you don't get the book, at least you got that insight.